used as a bikers club back in the 70s, early 80s. There has been a lot of reports of parties, paranormal stuff going on here. I was hung. Danger. Danger. What the hell, mate? Are we in danger? People have reported hauntings in this building. Heard you banging around. Pop guy stuff that, mate. Show us that you're here. Touching my back? I'm not touching that. Mate, seriously. I'm stood right here, mate. You followed us. Welcome back to the channel. So tonight I've come out with Manus Paranormal. I've come out to check out this old pub known as the Noggin. So we've just been speaking to some locals here. They've been telling us a little bit of history, how there is a bit of history of paranormal going on inside. That back in the 70s it was used as a bikers club. They're getting ready to demolish it now. So we are going to go in, we're going to explore it, have a look around, see what's left of the place, if anything at all, because they have not a good portion just at the side down which i'll show you in a minute let's go for a walk up here let's try and find a way through the fence line and just before i go if you haven't already consider subscribing turn on post notifications head over check out my facebook and instagram all the links are down below yeah come on let's go let's see if we can get in and have a look around this place said to be over 150 years old and it has got a lot of reports and we've got full moon it's a paranormal activity but just look at that the locals just we've got a that, full moon they? as well yeah i've just seen that the locals even come over didn't they and they're like yeah there's a lot of history to this place it's 150 years old a lot of stuff has been witnessed inside and it was a bikers club as well yeah yeah, yeah, bikers club, yeah. so 150 years old and they're going to be knocking it down very soon it's mental, isn't it? Yeah. But we're going to have to try and find a way in, aren't we? Yeah, there's a lot of traffic noise because the motorway is there, isn't it? But it's not early in the morning, but it's... It's, well, it's about half ten, and eleven o'clock now. It's still flying up and down. Yeah? yeah it's not... But it's just something we're going to have to deal with. Usually I'd say, come back another day, let's do it another day. But with this one, we're probably not going to get another chance to do it because yeah. they are knocking it down. Yeah. Right, we just had a look over the fence here. We noticed half the building the newer part of the building has been knocked down, hasn't it? Which is just round about here, but it's all gone. Yeah. Let's see if we can get in. That's all I can do now. To be fair, it does look pretty secure. Yo, hang on. Look at the fence here. Please let us get in. <laughs> Come on, that's Please. looking promising, isn't it? Yeah, that's looking promising. It's a bars at home. Yeah, this is open this, this one. They're getting in and they've pulled it too. Yeah. Like the workers and stuff. Yeah. 
cool. It's this green net here. Let's see. Oh, well, we're on the yard. But that's the part I'm talking about. Just in front of me here, where they've knocked it all down. There's nothing left. But the locals were showing us a couple of uh, drone footage. Yeah, so we're there. We're going to explore it. If you get a feeling for paranormal, like the locals were saying, there's a lot of history to it. A lot of um, hauntings. So all this where we're standing now, this was like um, like a hall, wasn't it? Look at it. This would have been like, yeah. Yeah, this was like the new part, the restaurant and that here, in the big hall. Wow, I can't believe. Because you drive past this, don't you? Yeah. Hello. You drove past it a few days ago and everything was still here. Yeah, it was all still up, mate. The neighbour, he it. put his drone up not too long ago and it was all here. And what did he say to us? What did he say? He, he was speaking to you when I... Said something about... Um, you missed it by a few days. I said it was all still up and he went... Yeah, you missed it by a couple of days, didn't you, mate? Missed it like, by a couple hell. of days. It's just mad to think we we could possibly be the last people recording anything to do with this old restaurant in documenting what's left, if there's anything left at all. But whatever resides inside, you just don't know. Look at this bad area. Do you think this could actually be the perfect time for us to come to check it out whilst they're demolishing it? Because if there's anything residual, anything here, it could be more active now because it's been disturbed. Look at it. I know. Oh, it's literally it. just a shell. Somebody been in there. Could be workers though, could it? Not this time of night. Yeah, but it could have been workers earlier. Yeah, but they'd have been drying the footsteps. Yeah, they're footsteps. They'd have been dry now. Hello? Already a bit. I need to feel it. Something here, mate. Before we carry on, the restaurant area. So, what they've knocked down is the restaurant area. They are definitely footsteps, but there is a way back to the place. Yeah. You really like that? No, I was talking. Not the drip, that was footsteps on that rubble over there. There's anybody residing here? This could be your last time to try and communicate with anybody. We're just here to speak to you. Interact if you want to. We don't mean any disrespect or any sort of alarm. It is a weird feeling to it. But these footsteps, should we follow the footsteps for a minute? They are 100% footsteps. Yeah. I mean, you've walked in there, but that... Yeah, look. That was there, that was, that was there, Luke. They're new footsteps. And it looks like a heel, like a high heel. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, not like a high heel, but like a man's... You come this way? No. Come and have a look anyway. It stopped there, then. Yeah, it just stopped. Toilet. Literally just a toilet in there. 
Well, yeah, you can see our footprints. Yeah, so they're coming through. Yeah, I'm not even like them, mate. Mate, mine aren't even picking up. Must be a ghost. Well. Oh. But these ones. Mate, that'd be so weird, though, if you were studying now and you saw wet footprints. We've heard footsteps. Imagine if them footprints were just random. Just shh. Something but all I can hear is that road traffic as well. Bump up upstairs and then I hear somebody talking like a girl. That was footsteps over there. Look, there's more footstep prints over there. Look. See him? You go that way, I'll go this way. Can I look more there? Eh? Could be other urban explorers that have come in. Yo. Found some stairs. Yeah, like I was saying, it was used as a bikers club back in the 70s, the early 80s. There has been a lot of reports of parties, paranormal stuff going on here. And we've literally just walked in. You've heard a voice, we heard the footsteps, we heard a knock. Yeah. And we've got those footprints coming through. Granted, it could be somebody else who's coming exploring. Ah. Yeah, but we've been like. They can't be homeless because the neighbours were saying yeah. they're demolishing it. Yeah. So there'd be no way of homeless being able to stay here without the builder saying, hey, sling your hook, you know what I mean? Wow, well, that fence broke. Oh, that's it. There you go, me. Upstairs, I just found some stairs as well. What's that there? No way. There's someone here. There's someone that would like to come forward and speak to us. It's got to be somebody else there, mate. Hello. The only place we haven't checked is upstairs. Have you walked up the stairs? No. Uh huh. Put pins on the floor. Oh. Hello? Is anybody there? We're just urban explorers just coming in to check the place out. We don't want to scare you if you are there. Are they recent then? They have to be recent, aren't they? Because they're the drive by now. about it. Mate, what is that stench? You smell that stench here? S sniff up. No, being honest, like, you don't know, it's an abandoned building for Christ's sake. We go to some crazy places, mate, and it won't be. There's foot, footprints coming up the stairs. I've heard of an explorer's ferry bodies before. We've yeah. There's lots of people who have. It's stronger there. It smells like death.
خب This just doesn't feel right, this. Some big rooms on box. Well, there's been function rooms and everything here, haven't there? Yeah. You feel that, though, you just feel. Feel something dark, heavy. You know, you just get this, like, weight that just comes on your body. Yeah. And it's just there with you. All the energy around you in this room. Not it's just a weird it's feeling just to just me. It's just in the building, mate. Yeah. Oh, but let's see if I just got heavy. That's the thing with this one. Because they've been demolishing it, taking parts down. Yeah. They could have disturbed anything. Well they said when you decorate and stuff. In fact, not when you said every house I've decorated things have happened. Because you're disturbing. The frequencies. The frequencies and stuff. Everything that happened here when it was a bikers club as well, though. Man. Back when in they, the seventies as well. Listen, listen. When them, when them, um, the locals were talking to us, they were telling us. He said, like, when bikers, he said they would have dragged people outside and had fights and all sorts. Yeah. Would have gone on. He said because there was hundreds of them. Well, just imagine what happened behind closed doors. Well, this was a biker club, mate. They would have, yeah. they could have dragged people in rooms, all sorts of stuff. It's just the reality of it at the end of the day, isn't it, mate? So. Yeah. Right, should we pull the spirit talker out and just see? Because we're hearing stuff, mate. Yeah. They're, like, they're not like drips, are they? They're like feet. That's a drip there. If you're listening to what we're saying, do you want to come and speak to us? We can hear you around us. Making noises. He said, he said, who's that? I didn't hear nothing. Was right behind you, in that back room, then he went, who's that? Like a, not like a really deep voice, but like a, who's that? I'll introduce myself. My name's Moxler. My name's Jer. If that was you who just asked who we are, who's that? Yeah, That's said, it's what he said. Like in the distance, I heard, who's that? Can you come and introduce yourself so we know who we're speaking to? Mate, why it feels so weird. It does. It really does. It feels as if something's going to happen. I was home. What did we take before? We were speaking about that. Yeah, and you walked in, you went, imagine if you walked in here and you just saw somebody, what would you do, Jer? I went, I don't know, mate. It's, it's a scary thing. I the was hung. That came through, was that? Were you hung in this room? It's scary. I was hung. It's one of my biggest fears that I don't want to find somebody. You've been listening to what we were speaking about. Old Bikers Club, I was hung. I mean, the reality is, there. back back then, it probably still happens now, and just not many people it's know about it. You people don't know. To the bikes, mate, yeah. just driving down the street. I've, I've read stories, not from this. Not well, I've I've watched older. documentaries, older ones like the '60s, '70s, '80s. Have you ever seen Rodo's the film? Yes. Of course, man. That's yeah. what it's like. That's what I imagine when I when I think of this place. Yeah. Were you an old biker from back in the '70s? when this was a club. Mate, you get that smell of aftershave. Mate. Yeah. Heal. Heal? Heal. I get some perfume smell. I get some like sweet smell, yeah. You want us to heal? We're not gonna heal for no one, heal. What, like as in, like bow down and? Yeah. I don't think so.
Nee, dat is on the step. Hè. Dat is on the step. Nee, I'm getting goosebumps all over my body. That's easy, mate. That was on the step. Does that anger you that we're not going to do what you ask? Are you the landlord of this pub? Did you own a biker group? I'm feeling in this room has just got so heavy. I don't get it, me, mate. I, I was, I got a heavy feeling downstairs. And you go off what's in it when it doesn't feel right. Yeah. Now I feel like I'm going to be attacked. Like that mad presence we get when we... You're going to try and attack us? Yeah. You know that they're naughty people, I mean, you get that feeling that like you're just gonna like jump off. I had an injury. I had an injury, hung, bikes. Heel. Oh. I had an injury. What sort of injury did you have? Was it a life threatening one? Anne. Anne. Anne, would you the landlady of this pub? I feel like being surrounded. I know, I know what you mean. Like being watched all around us. Like your centre of attention? Yeah. That like you just walk, like you're, a, you're a somebody from another biker club and they're just all staring at your eyes. You're like, like an outsider. Mate, hey, that's exactly what I feel like. I feel like I'm going to be attacked, yeah. mate. I really do. You were close then. Look at the club. Memories here. Memories here. I feel. Good memories or bad memories or a mix. I don't want to walk over this. Oh my goodness, that floor almost fell through on me then, mate. Mate, honestly, that floor just almost went through on me. That thing came from in there. Oh, that one. Can you make another noise? Show us where you are. People have reported hauntings in this building. Unexplainable stuff going on. Was it you? There are other people here. Don't be fearful. Don't be fearful. Yeah, it does. I feel like I'm going to get physically attacked. I don't even want to get back to this room, to be honest with you. We're not fearful. We're just intrigued. This could be the last time that you could tell your story before this building gets knocked down. How does that make you feel? Did you hear it? I heard voices, but they just don't. It's really hard to like pinpoint where they're coming from, where they are in this. Made that sound like it was down there. Does it anger you that they started demolition in this place? Is that you trying to make noises downstairs to get us out? And tell us. That was a good sign. Feeling here. Is. I feel just like pure dread. That's how it feels, cross. cross. What were you just asking yeah. about demolition? That's what I'm saying, the last time you could tell the story is right now before it gets knocked down. And to any spirits that are still here, this building will get knocked down. But you've already started on it. So if you want to come forward now, just make one big loud bang so we know which room you're in. And we'll come to you. If you're stuck in a room, we'll come to you. Just a weird silence to it. A girl just died from in behind me. Seriously? Oh, a girl just hummed behind you? Hey, she just hummed right behind me. She just went, mm hmm. 
right behind me, mate. Look at my eyes, I've been watering the door. Hey, I just heard her behind me. People can't hear me. People can't hear fucking, me. I heard her. I heard you. It was, she was humming. She was only young. She sounded like a little girl, like my daughter's ears going. Mm -hmm. Can you come and show yourself to us? That wasn't. That was like a tease. Oh, it's so mate. Yeah, come in here a little bit with me. So you can hear it a bit better. But there's definitely something in here. I heard a humming. Can you speak again? Hum again, fathers. And she said that in the spare time. Tell people my story. Tell people my story. We're trying. Victoria. Victoria. Victoria, was that you? I heard them in. I know you're only young. Can you tell me how old you are? The machine that my friend has got in his hand, you can talk to this. It's like a dictionary. It has certain words in there. You feel... Really cold air. Really, really cold air. Yeah, it's freezing. It's freezing in that room a minute ago. You followed us. Somebody come up those stairs. Oh shit. Something's coming towards us, mate. Nothing to come upstairs, mate. Did you hear that? Mate, I'm hearing it, yeah. Mate, I am hearing that, mate. That's too loud not to hear. Something was just walking up them stairs, and it sounded like something was just dragging someone upstairs, like boom, boom. That was some real residual stuff going on there, yeah, then. It was, yeah. Danger. Danger. What the hell, mate? Are we in danger? Because I'm that like, anxious, my hands are tight to me. It's on top of landing. It's on the landing. I have many regrets. I have many regrets. It's on the landing, mate. I just heard the step up top of that landing. This is fucking nuts, Mox. This is fucking nuts, mate. But this is what we're here for. This is... This is insane. I'm icy cold. There's something here with us. 100% I feel it. Who is it who's around us? I think it's that little girl. I'm not sure. If it's a little girl, knock once. If it's somebody else, knock twice. Should be scared. Mm. Should be scared. Should Why should be. we be scared? We know. We heard you. Heard you banging around. Pork guy stuff that, mate. Mate, I can't believe I just heard him walking. Bangs and him. Him. That was it's mad, tough. mate. That was too loud. That was big bangs. That was really big bangs. Mate. Guys, you can hear that. That's very, very loud. Who is it? Who is it who's banging around? Why are you banging around? You try to hide something. We're going to come back downstairs. You okay with that? You stood in front of us. Where are my children? Where are my children? Um, I don't know where your children are. Sorry about that. Are you a spirit that's talking to us from this pub? Mate! What the fuck was that? 
heard that behind you though then. No, it was like something went... Yeah. Was that your feet though that moved? Though, yeah, it would have been my feet because it mate, felt like... But it... Mate, it felt like a web went like that. No web Down the side of my ear. But there's no web. Civil. Did you just touch me? Dominic. Is that, the ch is that one of your children's names? There's noises coming from down there. Seriously, there's no. But I can't understand this. As soon as we walked in the, in the building, it was really heavy, wasn't it? Yeah. Where's the footprint coming from, mate? That's it. That, that, that fence is secure, apart from one piece. And wet footprints, and we've been outside having drinks and stuff, and nobody's coming. Well, think of it like this. We have stood outside for about 20. 25 minutes with the neighbours yeah. talking about the place. Nobody came in. Nobody walked past us. Nobody came in. Nobody went out. We'd have seen them. There's no way it was. They were like. They were like. Uh, shoes. And they were yeah. with the at the back. Hello? I've just got a funny feeling somebody just got one crawl up those stairs like. Oh, mate, imagine. He stood in front of us. If you are, manifest yourself. Show us that you're here. Touching my back? I'm not touching anything. Mate, seriously. I'm stood right here, mate. You're not messing with me then? I stood right here. But I did hear a shut like a. like a. claws, if you get what I mean. Like jeans rubbing or something. And then you yeah. just spun right around. I literally just went. And you just turned around. Mate, right it was and like, somebody went, no I thought you were messing with me because I was still on the stairs. They're like trying to nudge me to start walking that's down. That's twice, that's twice that you've been touched. This is a really, really mad place. It's really unexpected. It is. It is so unexpected. There's 150 years of history here. If there is anybody who's like, well, we know there is because i felt you twice, we've heard you. Can you do something? Make a big bang, move something. I'm stood right here, mate. I'm hearing it as well. I'm stood right here. I don't even want to look behind me because I feel like something's stood behind me. Honestly, it's not a nice feeling <laughs> on the stairs, I'll be honest. What's up? What was that? What was it? The big band right behind me on the wall. Was it not there? No. It was on this wall. Should have went. That. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I touched it. I didn't bang on the wall. Bloody loud though. Right next to me. My camera. Wait, I felt like something was coming in here. My camera just stopped. Stopped and won't focus for a second. I'm getting it on these stairs, mate. Yeah. You're not getting no focus. I don't want to look behind me. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Mate, it's cool. <laughs> right, we're here for spirits. Let's stop this. Fucking hell, shit, mate. If you want us to leave, just say leave. Scream at us. Fling something at us. Well, if you're going to fling something at us, fling it at Morris, the small bald headed one. One with, one with the mole on his head. Just in case he got us mixed Not up. Not the one with the cap on. <laughs> Not the six foot eight one, the five foot eight. <laughs> Just in case he mixed us up. Such a strange feeling to it, mate. It's all around, like you said, it feels as if they're all watching you. As if there was loads of bikers died and just came back here because this was a favourite spot and they're like, yeah. who are you guys? That's exactly it. It's like we've come in and we're outsiders straight away. Yeah. These two are just outsiders and what are you two doing here? And we're hearing all sorts of noises. I've been touched twice, not nastily, 
But I have been touched. Glenn. Glenn. What was that? That ding. That's why you heard it. I can hear something up here on these stairs. It's as if they followed us up. Glenn, who are you? Were you one of the leaders of the biking club here? What was the name of the biking club? They didn't say it, did they? No. There could have been a clip where they passed through. No. That's why there was a lot of fights. Just think about it. There's quite a lot of new oasis around here. There wouldn't have been new oasis around here. It would have been a pub. Well, right. And not many oasis around until there's there. this one. Then they built another one across a, the way. A newer one. A newer one. Yeah. Before the motorway bridge, and that was there. Probably too many bikers have come with this one, they went, just build another across the road, yeah. pull over there. I don't know, mate, this, build, this building is very, un un it was unexpected. I'm feeling very, like, my chest feels so heavy. What the? I don't know whether that come from there or here. Granted about the drips. But do you know what that sounds like? Something. Archibald. Running. Running. Archibald. Archibald. That was mad. Look at that. Look at that. Look at yours. Because I can't explain them. They're literally really wet. Have you that then? No. It's as if it followed us upstairs. When we come downstairs, it's followed us downstairs, but watching us upstairs. Yeah. And as soon as we got here, it's like it bounced off the stairs now, it's just come in there and just stood there watching. It's like it followed us around. Then all you say, Gabriel. Gabriel, you can you can actually picture the image in your head. Somebody stood yeah. just at the door, like watching us, waiting for us to leave. Just feel like that. Do you want us to go? Make one massive, massive bang and we'll leave. We're not here for any trouble, but if you need some help, it's about time you said no before we leave. Hung. Hung, hung again? Who was hung? Protected. Hung, protected. They just don't go together in any sort of sentence. Well, there might not be, there might be quite a few spirits trying to talk through the machine. So you could be picking a landlord up, and maybe a bike up, maybe a young girl up here. This is 150 year old. Yeah, there's a lot. This could have like won this bullet, not won it, but been on this land, maybe in this area. Right, so after standing down here for a good 20, 25 minutes, just calling out, nothing much since the stairs. So it's like whatever was here was pushing us down, trying to push us out of the building. That's how I felt with this one. Well, I think we've outstayed our welcome, so we're going to leave it here for tonight. Let us know what you thought of it in the comment section down below. Have you enjoyed it? Have you got any theories towards this one? Well, I do think if we try to come back here, even next week, it's going to be gone. They've already started knocking it down. So that's why we've come tonight, got in, done what we had to do. Maybe this is what's riled the spirit up, our spirits. And that's why it's been so active here tonight. You just never know. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, please consider subscribing if you are new to the channel. If you haven't already, head over, check out my Instagram and Facebook. The links are down here, as well as Morris Paranormal. His link is in the description. Yeah, thank you for watching. I will catch you all next Wednesday, same time, 8 pm. And until then, stay safe.